To make pea soup, the most important ingredient is a pound of green split peas. Raw from the store. Really cheap, too, so that's handy. And we just put it right into our crock pot. Now it's important to pick through and try to find pieces that don't belong because sometimes they get in there. Now we add six to eight cups of water. Depending on how thick you want your soup is how much water you should add. We add one tablespoon of vegetable base to every cup of water. This is called orzo. It is a tiny rice grain sized pasta and I'm going to add half a pound of this just to give it an extra texture. We already added this amazing vegetable seasoning base, which has lots of seasonings in it. But, add whatever you like. Experiment. Make it taste good. I'm going to start with this random packet of soy sauce. I'm not too big on black pepper, but it has kind of a uh, lemony flavor that I enjoy sometimes. Bay leaves. It's a rumor that you can't eat bay leaves because they're poisonous or something, but that's not true. It's actually quite safe to eat bay leaves. They're just kind of gross and fibrous. <coughs> onion powder. I decided that the texture of fresh onion would not be what I want in my soup. So I'm adding a lot of onion powder to make up for it. Paprika. I love paprika and for some reason people only put it on deviled eggs. This stuff's great. It adds a nice rich deep hearty flavor to food so without overpowering it if you use just enough. basil. I wouldn't want too much in this soup though. Mmm, parsley, that would be good. That's a fresh parsley. Just a bit of crushed red pepper. Just to kind of soak in a little heat and flavoring in. I usually put sriracha on top of my soup though, so I don't put too much heat in the soup itself. Liquid smoke. Because it's vegan, I add liquid smoke in order to make up for the fact that I don't put a ham hock in. It's about a tablespoon. Don't need too much, but oh, this refrigerates, so right here. Uh, salt. I just grab the kosher because I don't really use it for anything and don't want it to go to waste. A little 
olive oil just because I need to get rid of it. Generic Italian seasoning. There. And there you have it. Just add whatever you want and then mix it all together. And this will be good. And then we just put it on high in the crock pot and put a lid on it. And leave it there for about three hours, three to four hours to do it. Really? Surprise! It, it's not soup. Even a half pound of pasta makes it a pasta bake. So now you have a green pea pasta bake. You never know what you get when you put stuff in a crock pot. <laughs> <laughs>